Well, we talked about people who are not working in an office setting. Take a look at our newsroom, which is virtually empty. Folks all over are having to work from home. And we talked about this a minute ago. What about their rights? What are they? Better call Harry. Took a look. Norfolk Southern runs 24-7. And while corporate staff can work from home, the employees who keep these trains on schedule cannot. One called us worried. He says he's now on call 24-7, sometimes working double shifts with little regard to proximity. They're doing this at this time, and we're already stressed with what's going on. And now we, some people have to find additional child care. We're hearing similar complaints from service industry employees like FedEx. Employees who want to know if they believe the workplace is not safe, do they have the right legally to stay home? We've been inundated with calls. Ed Buckley is a labor pandemic. lawyer who says if your workplace is unsafe, you do have the right to stay home. Basically what it boils down to is a potential concern under OSHA, uh, the Occupational Safety and Health Act. Buckley says the first thing any concerned employee should do is report the potential violation that gives you protection. And people should be made to feel safe. And if they aren't, then they have the right. And, and perhaps, you know, by some people's belief, an obligation to report those problems to OSHA. But if you don't want to file a complaint, there's another option. The Families First Coronavirus Response Act, an expansion of FMLA that provides 80 hours of paid sick leave because of a quarantine or because you're caring for your kids. Benefits that could go up to 10 weeks. If for some reason your employer still says you have to go to work, Buckley says, remember this. Social distancing guidelines still apply. Taking precautions still apply and employers still have a duty, whether they're an essential business or not, to make the workplace safe in response to our Norfolk Southern employee, the company says it is following CDC guidelines along with twice daily cleanings of all workstations in common areas. If you do stay home and you still get laid off, you may have a case, but the first thing you should do is apply for enhanced unemployment benefits. And our attorney says, ask your employer this, are they applying for stimulus benefits? Because if they are and they're laying people off, they may not be eligible. I'm Better Call Harry, CBS 46 News.